Who was Katy Josephowitz? The remarkable yet little-known work of this multi-talented artist explored the complexities of the self, feminism, spirituality and sexuality, for drawing, painting, music, theater and dance. Over 40 years of research and creation. Speaking about her practice, Josephowitz said, It's my voice, my breathing, my world. Sometimes an ideal world and sometimes a very harsh world. Indeed, she was interested in the complexity of the individual, in all its beauty and misery. Josefovitz painted unsung existences and invisibilized bodies, turning them into heroes for which she would express marginality, power play, oppression, resistance and solidarity. Very deeply influenced by theater and dance, she perceived the canvas as a stage, a place where multiple existences and emotions could be expressed and various characters could be incarnated. Born in New York in 1956, she grew up in Geneva, looking at painting masters like Degas, Dufy, Delaunay, Picasso and Matisse, among others. At age 17, she entered the Beaux-Arts School in Paris and started an intense painting practice around the themes of circus, theater, and intimacy, which would become a central concern of her research. In 1977, she moved to Boston, where she discovered the prime of theater, a technique based on the search for raw emotions. This was a revelation that she would nurture all her life. At the same time, the artist started training to become a midwife, She saw in maternity an expression of a primordial experience that she would explore, especially in pastel drawings, in notebooks, which she carried on feelings throughout her life and which became a sort of diary of feelings. These drawings evoke Suzanne Valadon's powerful self-portraits, the vulnerability of Kiki Smith's drawings, Carol Rama's passion for female desire, and Lilo Zano's poetic anger, works that nourished Josefovitz for over 40 years, who was influenced as much by painting as by dance as an admirer of Trisha Brown, Yvonne Reiner and Meredith Monk. Indeed, Josefowitz also studied dance at the Dartington College of Arts in the UK. Her early theatre performances would focus on women and their history, from the female body performing in domestic spaces to the age-old phenomenon of poor women having to sell their hair. At that time, She also became involved in political activism, taking part in pacifist movements and becoming very engaged in feminism and fighting violence against women. A manifesto from her music band, Lining Time, stated, We feel the need to take a clear position against patriarchy and the supposed realities it involves, war, nuclear power, violence, etc. We think that our strength lies in our female energy and the possibility of finding a different reality together. The end of the 80s was a period of the fusion of painting, dance and theater around her obsessions on intimacy, loss and the celebration of the unnoticed and the everyday. In a joyful period of creation when living in Italy, she started the Receipt series, a body of work that would grow like a diary as she was traveling in London, Paris, Geneva, Stadt or Milan, while painting idealized everyday scenes. This work on the everyday continued around the time she moved back to Paris in 1996, where she started works inspired by the Baiser by Rodin. After the deadly fall of her dear friend, Josefovitz started to paint falling chairs, a motif that would become essential to study movement, but also to gradually enter abstraction and see the human body disappear. With her new studio in Paris having no walls to hang canvases, she started to work on large formats on the floor, on which she would throw a prayer shawl. This new series entitled Prière, meaning prayers, was often named after a member of the artist family or a place she loved. This period was strongly linked to her early relations with the spiritual and mystical worlds. Close to Buddhist philosophies, Josefovitz was a long-standing admirer of the thinker Krishnamurti. 
In 2009, back in Switzerland, she discovered the thinking of the Indian mystic Osho, who sought to promote a celebration of life through the liberation of the ego and sexuality. Josephovitz started her Kama Sutra series, painting vast and infinite volumes in which intertwined couples appear. This series continued her research on sexuality that she had started back in the 70s. In her drawings and paintings, sex and embraces, hetero and homosexual alike, resemble a form of dance and elation. This quest for the absolute, expressed in abstraction and figuration in equal measure, appears in the ciel, a series of skies executed from 2010 onward, and which express different emotional states. She started the series knowing that she had a serious form of cancer. These very large format skies are meditations on existence, gateways to reach an absolute space. Katy Josephovitz continued this series until she died on June 28, 2014, leaving behind an impressive work on both the pleasure and distress of being alive. <laughs>